Hey, hey, how's it going? My name is Heartbeat, welcome back in today's video, and today we have another fantastic episode of the Arctic Shack for you beautiful people. So, this video is going to be a little bit of a story time video for you today, and it's going to be about how not to commission a fursuit maker, and you might be thinking to yourself, oh my gosh, Heartbeat, I mean, Tana Mojo, is that you? Are you a story time YouTuber? Um, no. <laughs> this is pretty much a one-off thing, to be brutally honest. So, don't expect too many stories from me. But, anyways, I'm blabbering on here. So, basically, what happened was, it was about July last year. Uh, a first seat maker that I've really been eyeing off, just open for commissions, and at the time, I just got my new job. So, I'm sitting there, and I get paid the next day after um, uh, she opens. So, I thought to myself, okay, I'll see what I can do. So, I sent in my commission with my measurements and details and all that. And this is also all in Fur Affinity as well, by the way. And I actually opened a Fur Affinity account just so I can commission this girl, right? So, I have zero to no idea on how Fur Affinity works, and I, I, I still don't now, but anyways. <clears throat> but basically, the thing is, is that with Fur Affinity, in the little top right hand corner, is uh, like your, your messages, your notifications, and stuff like that. And so I thought to myself, because she said it also in the, um, the information with the commissions, I should, it can sometimes take a few days to respond. So I'm like, okay, that's cool. So I waited three days, I got paid, and I clicked on Fur Affinity again about three to four days later, and I sort of saw a notification at the top, and I'm like, M, what, what's, what's an M? So I clicked on that. It was a message from the maker saying that they would love to commission my work. And that might, might be a bad thing, right? Until you read when she sent it. She sent it four hours after I sent mine and I responded with about three to four days after so already I'm on the back foot thinking oh my god I should have responded earlier I probably could have saved me you know a few weeks to a few months of waiting but uh, oh well so that was the big big oops that I did right so you know I sent him a PayPal information you know all got to be sorted she sent me the invoice and I go to click on the invoice and it said denied so I emailed her back saying okay I've got some PayPal problems um, money might be a little bit late I apologize she said yeah but it's okay it's all good so it's all fine so I'm like okay so I was expecting to get this done by that afternoon you know one call to PayPal and I could be like okay I'll send through the money for you so this woman can get the money and she can start my commission Four days later, this is how good PayPal's customer service is, four days later, they fixed a problem. And with over a dozen calls to PayPal later to, to freaking get this sorted, they have finally did it. Apparently, something got blocked in the system because I've never sent that much amount of money to someone before, so they blocked it for like a day or two or something like that. I don't know. PayPal's just screwed. Anyways, so they fixed it and they sent the money. And I'm thinking to myself, Hallelujah! Finally! Oh my gosh! The, the monkey's off my back. I can actually breathe now because now... This maker is now finally making my fursuit head. And so, that was my little story for you today. And if you got anything out of this uh, little story, don't do what I did. So basically, make sure your PayPal is working. Uh, make sure you respond to the maker as fast as you possibly can. Don't wait like three, four days after, just like what I did. And yeah, make sure you get the money in as fast as possible as well, because that will that can actually save you time in the commissioned list, because they don't actually start your project until everything is paid off, or unless you're on like a payment plan. So yeah, that's my 
that's my little story for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to check out all of my social media links in the description. Give them a follow if you haven't already. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See you later, mate.